Today I'm going to show you a demo of TinyPilot, a way to physically control servers using a Raspberry Pi. So behind me is my home server, and you can see there's nothing connected to it except for the USB cable going to the TinyPilot, and then also the HDMI cable, but there's no keyboard or monitor attached and there's no network cable attached. And so because I'm capturing the video output, I can see that right from the web browser, and I'm also impersonating a keyboard from the Tiny Pilot. So the server sees the Tiny Pilot as a USB keyboard. So coming over here, you can see right in the web browser, I've got a terminal. And so this isn't super exciting. Um, we can do the things that we would normally do with SSH. But where it gets kind of interesting is that we can shut down the server and we continue to have access even through the shutdown. And so that's something you wouldn't normally have with SSH. And that's because we're physically connected to the device. The tiny pilot device is capturing the HDMI output from the server, and it's connected as a physical keyboard to the server. And so in a second, we should see the boot screen. So that's, that's the ASRock boot screen for that motherboard. And if we hit delete, we should be able to access BIOS, which is another thing that's very difficult if you're trying to administer a server remotely, but you don't have physical access. And so you can see we've got the BIOS screen right here. And so we can change anything we want in BIOS because it's, it's like we have physical access. But the other thing that's interesting to do is we can use this connection to install a new OS. And so I've also got a bootable USB key inserted. And so we're going to wait for the boot screen again. And this time I'm going to hit F11 for the boot menu. And so as soon as we get to the boot menu, OK, so we've got the boot menu. And you can see the fourth option is the Samsung flash drive, which I inserted with a bootable USB. And so here we can see it booted into the Proxmox installer. And so I can install an entirely new OS without ever connecting a keyboard or monitor into my server. So that's the demo. Yeah, if you're interested in more and a tutorial on how to build this yourself, you can check the link below on how to make your own tiny pilot.